Today we got the Gigamundo, you heard me correctly, the Gigamundo 10-in-1 USB-C hub with a hidden secret. Let me show you what that is. All right, welcome back to the channel. Now, if you've watched me before, you know a couple things. Number one, I do product showcases. I don't do full reviews. Go ahead and watch this. I like to give people, you know, just to show them the different interesting products that are out there, and then you can go do your own research. I just want to do a product showcase. I haven't had this long enough, but let's get into all the details. What I'm going to do on this is I actually, this is called the Gigamundo, you heard me correctly, 10-in-1 USB-C hub or docking station, and there's a little hidden secret in here, which I'll get into, but this is the model number is GAM2P9, and I'll show you the box up close. So this is kind of an interesting product. It actually came in this box with this kind of pinkish can, you know, case here, you can see it, and uh, I'll show you close-ups of it. It opens up, it has everything, you know, you can put the hub in there and you can put all the cords in there and stuff. So interesting, I don't know why it shipped at the pink one, but it's, you know, it's a bonus. I didn't even expect to get it, so it's not bad, right? All right, so what I wanna do in this video though is I'm gonna go through the different, you know, different ports on here, and they're really interesting ports, right? I mean, they have almost everything you need, so let me just go through those really quickly. Then I'm gonna show you the little hidden secret, and, you know, spoiler alert, it's an SSD in here, M.2, and I'm gonna show you some special, really cool cooling it has as well. So, I mean, at the end of the day, it's different than most of the cooling I've seen out there, so if you wanna see that, stay tuned. And then finally, I'm gonna do a speed test on this thing, the SSD speed test, and I'll show you what SSD I'm using. I use the same one for all my tests, and, uh, and then basically, I'm gonna transfer some more data to see if it gets hot or see if there's any drop off in that trend, you know, when we're transferring that data. Um, overall though, so far the build quality has been great. It does have a plastic top, and I'll get into that in a second. But without further ado, we're gonna get into the ports here, talk about this thing, and like I said, I think it's, a, it's around $99, so it's not the cheapest thing out there, right? I just wanna say that. But it does have a lot of functionality and features, and the ports are really kind of spot on. So watch this and let me know what you think, and then, you know, obviously you can wait for a sale or whatever. But so far, so good. All right, and I'll show you close-ups as I'm talking about this. But on one side of the ports, what we have is a SD card and then a um, TF card reader, so you can get those. Obviously, that's great. And this is the cool part. It has a USB-A 5 gigabit per second, a USB-A 10 gigabit per second. So it has a 10 gigabit per second USB-A, and then even a USB-C 10 gigabit per second on one side over here. And then on the flip side over here has the gigabit ethernet, has an HDMI, which is 4K at 60. It's got another 5 gigabit USB-A port, and then it's got a, you know your USB-C in to the computer, and then you have a 100 watt power delivery as well port on this thing. Now, on the, so it's got tons of ports, including that USB-C data, to all the USB-A datas, and uh, you know the Ethernet, everything that you think you might need here. On both sides, on the ends of it, it doesn't have anything there. Just on the both sides, it has it. All right, the case, the top of the case here is plastic, like I mentioned. The cool thing about this, it's one of the hidden secrets. It's it's magnetic. Watch this. I'll show you close-ups. You can hear it click on. So you basically hover it close to it. It clicks right on, and then if you go upside down, it won't fall off. It's pretty good. I mean, actually, it works really well. It's just easy to get in there, and you can open it up if you want to help with cooling, I guess, because you know I'll get into that in a second because you don't need this top. But it's really interesting that it just opens up really quickly if you want to take drives out and put them back in quickly. So that's one you know huge advantage to this. Now let's get into the, the reason the cooling is interesting, and then we'll get into the speed tests. So the interesting thing about the cooling is it comes with this kind of crazy, elaborate cooling system here. And I'll actually show you a couple screenshots. So if you look at my screen, you'll see all the different things it comes with. And you're kind of scratching your head. Why does it have so many different things here, right? I mean, it's got all these different thermal pads and different pieces of metal. Well, what you're supposed to do is that, that silver metal piece, there's a silver metal piece, and that goes on the bottom kind of as the slider, right? And then you put one of the, some thermal tape below that, or right, right on top of that, I mean. Then you put your hard drive in there. And then on top of that, you put more thermal tape or a thermal pad. And then on top of that, it comes with this, and I'll show you close-ups. It's a block of metal with kind of copper running through it. So it's supposed to suck the heat away. And that goes on top of that heat tape. So really that's what's gonna be drawing the, all the temperature out of it. And then this plastic top doesn't really touch that. So it goes on top and uh, that's kind of how the cooling works. But it's like a pancake and it's all pancaked in there. And it works pretty good for me so far. Like I said, I haven't gone through like, you know, moving, uh, you know, terabytes of data. Um, I do gigabytes here, gigabytes there, and it works perfectly fine, which I'll show you in the test here coming up. So anyways, I just wanted to say this is the, you know, the Gigamundo GAM2P9. And uh, it's under 100 bucks, and it, it does have a lot of cool features in it, including this M.2. Let's get into that.
All right, so for the M.2, I'll show you a picture up here. It's NVMe PCIe. You can see the keys here, the M key, the B and M key. And then you can actually, it looks like use SATA, but just the B and M key right there. So here's the, you know, I'll leave this up for a second so you guys can maybe stop it and take a look at what kind of hard drives it uses. Now what I'm going to use in all my tests is I actually use the trusted Western Digital Black 770SN or SN77, SN77. And I'll show you a quick picture of that awesome SSD drive for the cost, at least in my experience. All right, so let's go ahead and do a speed test here. So what I want to do first of all is let me go ahead and open up Blackmagic. So I'm just going to do a quick Blackmagic test to kind of give you the initial impression of the speed test. And then we're going to do something a little bit more than that. So I'm going to go ahead in here and select the target drive of the Western Digital Black. And let's take a look at my screen. And let's run this first test. All right, as you can see, on the right, it's 742. And then the reads, it's 643, all right? You can see that's 739 on the writes again, and then we're up to 650 on the reads. So overall, not bad, all right? This is not that, you know, this is just a very, I mean, I guess it's, it's you know, it's not going to be the most the cheapest thing, but if you want to add up to 8 terabytes on a computer, like I'm using a Mac here, um, it works perfectly, right? And I have this basically as XFAT, you know, so it can work on both PC and a Mac. So just wanted to throw that out there. So that's really good, the test, right? All right, so for the next test, I want to do something where I transfer some data and just show you if there's any kind of fall off on the speed of it. So I'm going to open up this folder over here, drag it over here. You can see in here that this is, let me just count this. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about seven gigabytes of, of you know data right here so but there's about one two three four different files seven gigabytes give or take a little bit here so how fast is this transfer is it going to slow down after you know doing it for a little while let's go ahead and move this over here you can watch this transfer over I'm gonna let go so now it's going one two three four five six seven eight nine so about nine seconds i would say not bad for seven terabytes, maybe eight or nine, exactly what you would expect at that 700, 800, 600 megabytes per second. So overall, that kind of meets the smell test right there. Now, granted, that's kind of what I normally do. Nothing's hot on this thing right now. So again, if you're doing terabytes of data, it might drop off eventually, like almost all these things do if they're not cooled perfectly. But I think a lot of this thing has to do with how you actually package. And if you follow that really strict cooling design that they have in here with that copper in there, it might actually help quite a bit. Okay, so let's wrap this up really quickly, and let's just go over this really quickly. So this is the Gigamundo again, GAM2P9, and it's the enclosure with the complete M.2 drive in there, which is kind of the secret with the magnetic top and the cool cooling, the really cool cooling design. The ports are awesome on this thing, which make it, you know, obviously a plus right there. It's just under 100 bucks as well. Now, it did, this case comes with it, at least in the box here. Now, it does, they do sell this separately for five bucks. It's a crazy color, obviously. Overall, though, so far, so good, right? I don't do product reviews. I'm telling you that. This is a showcase. I'm just showing you this is a, you know, this is a product that's available. You guys can take a look and see other reviews and stuff. I've had no problems with it, though. I use that SN770. And on uh, all my tests, and it doesn't, you know, like I said, it's not getting hot in here. It gets maybe, you know, a little warm from here to here, but nothing so far. I've heard some people say maybe it gets hot on them, but maybe they just didn't, you know, create that pancake right. So who knows? But anyways, I just wanted to kind of wrap this up. If you haven't followed my channel, this is what I do. I just find kind of weird tech products that the big players do not want to touch. And I do stuff on them like this just to showcase them. I like fooling with tech, and this allows me to buy a lot of tech that's not that expensive, you know, give or take instead of buying the really expensive stuff. So subscribe if you can, help me out, and I will talk to you in the near future here. Peace.